Hello again everybody, today I'm going to show you a really easy card trick and tutorial. At the end of the video I'll be announcing the winners of the sign deck giveaway from my last video, plus there's going to be another sign deck giveaway. Now I did this trick about three years ago, I called it the power of four. I think you guys are really going to like it because it's very easy, it's a great beginner card trick. Let me show it to you and then I'll show you how it's done. What you're going to do is you're going to have a spectator shuffle the cards. So you can prove to them there's no setup. Give them the cards, have them mix the cards as much as they like, then go through the cards and just show them that all the cards are in random order. So there's absolutely no setup. You can give the cards another shuffle, and then you tell the spectator they can cut the cards wherever they like. So let's say they cut the cards right over here. Now you tell them that you can tell by looking at the fourth card down right over here, one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to take a little peek at this card, you can't see it. I could tell by looking at the fourth card over there that the fourth card over here is the three of clubs. One, two, three, and the fourth card over here is the three of clubs. Let's try that one more time. Give the cards a little shuffle, and you can cut the cards any way you like. Right over here, okay? I can tell by looking at the fourth card over here, one, two, three, four, by taking a peek at this card right over here, that the fourth card over here is the Jack of Clubs. One, two, three, and the fourth card over here is the Jack of Clubs, and we'll do it one final time. Give the cards a little shuffle, and cut the cards wherever you like, and now I can tell the fourth card over here, one, two, three, four, by taking a look at this card, I can tell the fourth card over here is the Two of Hearts. One, two, three, and the fourth card over here is the Two of Hearts. Okay, I think this is a great beginner card trick because there's no setup. There's basically little or no sleight of hand skill required. It can be done anytime, anywhere, and it usually gets great reactions. The first thing you want to do is allow the spectator to shuffle the cards. So the spectator can shuffle the cards as much as they like, so they're convinced that there's no setup. Once they're done, you're going to take the deck, you're going to flip the cards over, and you're going to spread through the cards, remembering the card in the fourth position. Now, you don't want to stop there. I see it's the Ace of Hearts. You want to go through the cards, saying to yourself, Ace of Hearts, but saying to the spectator, as you can see, all the cards are in random order. Now you know that the fourth card is the Ace of Hearts. You say, let's give them one more shuffle, and you want to maintain that Ace of Hearts in the fourth position. So you shuffle the cards, and you want to make sure you have at least four cards on top. And now you're going to tell the spectator they can cut the cards wherever they like. Let's say they cut the cards right over here. You know the fourth card down here is the Ace of Hearts. You're going to say the fourth card here is going to help me figure out what the fourth card here is. So you go one, two, three, four. You don't want the spectator to see this. You're going to take a peek at the card. I see it's the Seven of Clubs. I'm going to remember the Seven of Clubs. Don't forget that card. But you say, that card just told me that the fourth card here is the Ace of Hearts. You count one, two, three, and you show the Ace of Hearts. Now you know the fourth card here is the Seven of Clubs. You're remembering that, and you're saying, let's do that one more time. You now give them a Riffle Shuffle, and you want to keep those four cards on the top over here. So you give them a Riffle Shuffle, keeping the four cards on top. I kept more than four cards, and you now have the Spectator cut the cards again. Let's say they cut them right over here. Again, you know the Seven of Clubs is the fourth card down over here. So you're going to say the fourth card here is going to tell me what the fourth card there is. One, two, three, four. You're going to have a peek at this card. You now see it's the Eight of Diamonds. Set it down. You say that card just told me that the fourth card here is the Seven of Clubs. So you go one, two, three, flip over, show the Seven of Clubs. And now you know the fourth card here is the Eight of Diamonds. And you can do the same thing again. Riffle shuffle the cards, keeping the Eight of Diamonds now in the fourth position down from the top. So the trick resets itself continually and it usually impresses and most people cannot figure it out. So let me know what you guys think. Now on to the results and the deck giveaway. Here are the winners of the signed bicycle decks from my last video. Winning a red deck goes to WSX11000. Winning a blue deck goes to Nico Felix. Winning a green deck goes to X Swag Bear MCSG. Winning a Fuchsia deck goes to Maris World Raves. Winning a Black deck goes to Joe Lasota. Winning an Orange deck goes to Le Griffon. Winning a Purple deck goes to Jasmine Stevenson. And winning a Turquoise deck goes to Jordan Sario. Okay, in this video I'm going to be giving away eight signed decks of bicycle playing cards. Two of the discontinued brown decks, two Fuchsia, two Turquoise, 
and two black decks. All you have to do is leave a comment below, like the video, and I'll be announcing the winners in my next video. Good luck to everybody. That's it. I'll see you next time.